Tonight I'm going to show you how to load the Windows 7 installation DVD onto a 4 gigabyte thumb drive. Uh, many reasons you want to do this. First of all, it's faster. Second of all, it's much easier to transport. And third, if you have a netbook or a new computer, a lot of times it's easier just to load from the USB than it is from the DVD. So let's get started. Go to Start, type in Disk Part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, Enter. Okay, once you've done that, what you'll want to do is you'll want to enter list disk. Okay, now you'll notice here that it shows the drives. It has my regular drive and then it has the USB drive that I inserted. Then you're going to select the disk and you're going to have the disk be the number of the one you want to use. Select disk 5 for me. Okay, it's now the selected disk. Then I'm going to type in clean, and it's going to clean it. It's a new drive, so it doesn't take very long to do that. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create partition primary. Okay, it'll give you a response succeeded. Then I'm going to type active. It's marked as active now. Now I'm going to format it. So what I'm going to do is type in format space fs equals fat32 and then quick. Now it's going to go through and format the USB drive. And I'll be back in just a moment after it's completed. Okay, now we're going to type in assign. Okay, and it's now giving it the K. You can see here, and it's good to go, so we'll open that up. And we are ready to go. Now that it has been assigned the letter K, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything off of my E drive, which is the DVD that I currently have. So just to make it easier, I will bring it up here. And you can see I have my E drive. So I will open. And all I need to do now is drag all of these files over to the K drive. That'll take a little bit to transfer it over, and we'll be back in just a moment. OK, it took 21 minutes for this to copy over. So this isn't something that you're just going to do once uh, and recoup the time. If you're going to be doing multiple installs or you have to have a USB, then you want to do it this way. Again, 21 minutes is a long time to copy over, but if you're going to be doing this two, three, four, five times or more, uh, then it is worth it. Uh, once you're done with this, then you're good to go. You can just boot up from your post and go into booting from the USB.